Team USA staged a furious comeback, getting a 2-2 tie against Slovenia Friday. It keeps the Americans' chances alive of advancing in the World Cup. Slovenia, the smallest of the 32 nations in the tournament, took a 2-0 lead in the first half. Their first goal coming when forward Walter Birza caught U.S. keeper Tim Howard flat-footed to score in the 13th minute. Slovenia's second goal came in a counterattack from Zlatan Lubijankic at 42 minutes in. At halftime, U.S. coach Bob Bradley switched to a more attack-oriented lineup, subbing in two midfielders, Benny Feilhaber and Morris Edu. Quickly into the second half, U.S. midfield star Landon Donovan scored a goal on the Slovenian goalkeeper's near post. At 82 minutes, the coach's son Michael Bradley scored the equalizer when forward Josie Altador's header fell in the middle of the penalty box. Barreling at full speed, Bradley tapped it over the Slovenian keeper's head. Second half sub Morris Edu appeared to put Team USA ahead four minutes later, poking in a close-range shot after Altidore sent a header to him, but the ref disallowed it, apparently for a foul before Edu got the ball. Outside Alice Park in Johannesburg, U.S. fans were relieved. Breathtaking. I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't that confident in our ability to come back after that first half. We were all kind of down. The cheering session was quiet, but we came back because we're the USA. USA, USA. And some were bewildered because of the disallowed goal. I mean, honestly, I, I thought we got robbed of the last goal. I mean, I mean, they scored right off the bat, but we came back in a true American form. Scored right off the bat, second half rally. Epic comeback. Epic comeback. And I don't know what the call was. They, they said, what, a holding or something? Offsides? No, no, no. It was a holding right outside the box. Like, come on, give that to us. Team USA's fortunes now depend on the outcome of the match between Algeria and England. Either way, the red, white, and blue need a win in the final group match and probably some help if they stand a chance of making it to the second round. John Munley, Associated Press, Johannesburg, South Africa.